I did it. I managed to charge my 2024 Ford Mach-E using the adapter for Tesla superchargers, CCS to Tesla uh, standard, but it was not easy. It's a long journey. Come along with me and I'll tell you all about it. So the first issue I had was just finding a charger in the area where I live in Montgomery County, Maryland. They were always full or inconveniently located. And sometimes when you're using a CCS vehicle, you have to take two spaces. So as you can see in this photo, every charger was taken. And many of these Tesla drivers are Lyft and Uber drivers. So the last thing I wanted to do was to impact someone just trying to charge their car as they were trying to earn a living. So finally, though, I managed to find one. Okay, my first experience charging with the Tesla with the adapter. Let's see how it goes. Plug the adapter in, flex gone. Now I should just plug the Tesla in, it should recognize it. The guy just took my charger. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, I finally managed to get a spot at a Tesla charging station and I plugged it in. You see how it fit in pretty nicely? I didn't film it thinking it probably wouldn't work, but unfortunately it doesn't seem to be starting. So let me see if I can get it going. So the problem is this, you absolutely have to find an updated charger. Search in the app, you can filter it to find Tesla chargers that accept non-Tesla vehicles. That was the most important lesson I've learned. So I definitely feel like I can take these longer road trips now. And this varies by state. Again, where I live, there aren't that many Tesla superchargers. Many of them are older. Um, a lot of them don't work and they're always full. <laughs> so I'm so lucky that I can literally go with around me. There's probably hundreds of CCS available chargers of all different speeds and often in convenient locations, not at the top of a parking garage, for goodness sake. So I really appreciate that now. Whatever was they were behind before, they've definitely caught up and way surpassed the Tesla infrastructure. But it does depend by state as well, because here in the Maryland area, there's quite a few around, especially up the major interstates. Texas, you have these massive banks of Tesla superchargers at places like Bucky's. So there you would never really have a problem, I think, finding a location to charge a Tesla. Um, Maryland, I think there's a few of those massive banks of chargers at some roadside stops, but I've only seen one. Uh, other states may have a bunch. It just really depends on where they've invested. So you, ha you have to always look ahead. That's why I like that PlugShare app because it was pretty handy and it showed me uh, how to find them. And also the app within the Ford console uh, also will direct you to those chargers. And then it'll even um, condition, precondition your battery while you're going to that charge if you navigate to it. So it was a good long journey, a lot of fun, but oh my goodness, that was quite a process, but I'm glad I did it. And now I have access to any kind of charging network. I'm very happy.